everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm gonna to go through my top favorite primers. So top five-ish kind of primers that I absolutely love. And a few little kind of, you know, tips and tricks about that. If you have any questions about primers though, and this video doesn't cover it, definitely let me know in the comment section because I'm always here to help. So just leave a comment if you have any complaints about your skin or your makeup not lasting. Just give me a little bit of information about you and hopefully I should be able to find something that's gonna work. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite moisturizer. So it's not a primer, but a moisturizer does make a massive difference. And I talked about this moisturizer in my recent skincare favorites. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it up here. Sometimes your moisturizer can do all of the work for you. So you don't necessarily have to apply a primer. The primer is like an extra added bonus, but provided you have the right type of moisturizer that's gonna work with your skin, this should illuminate, it should create an even base, and it should give the makeup something to hold on to. If you do want to use a primer, one of my go-to favorites would be the Flormar Illuminating Primer Base. And what I really like about this is that it's illuminating while also giving oil control. So it's great for no makeup days if you just want to pop a little bit of something on to illuminate the skin, but control oils throughout the day. But it also creates a beautiful even base and gives your makeup something to hold on to. It's also available in a glow version. So this has more of an oilier texture, a lot of shine and shimmer. I love that for the more kind of dramatic glam looks. Now, if you need a lot of oil control or to reduce any looks of pores, try using a pore minimizing primer. Benefit have one of the original ones. This basically fills in any kind of gaps in the skin, even little lines and wrinkles, pores, anything that needs to be filled in. This will create a sort of a blanket over them while also giving the makeup something to hold on to that's a little stronger. And this also controls oil. So it's a great one for oily T-zone through the center of the face, maybe around the cheeks, maybe around the nose. Now for the more drier skin types who wanna add in some glow, try using these oil drops. These come in lots of different types of formulas. This one is by The Body Shop. And I love this because it creates that beautiful texture it evens out the appearance of the skin, which is what we're all about when we're using a primer. And it adds an oily texture, a shine, and it gives the makeup something to hold on to. So it doesn't necessarily always have to be a primer. To me, this is a great way to prep the skin. And then finally, I asked my mom what her favorite primer was because I always like to find out what the mature people are using. And this is one of her favorites, it's by Clarence. It's the SOS primer, as you can see, she's used the whole thing. This is great because it illuminates the skin, it adds a really smooth texture, gives the makeup something to hold on to, while also creating that beautiful bouncy texture and glow to the skin that you really want as you kind of get a little bit older, particularly if you have drier skin type. And Clarins actually have a huge range within the SOS primers, so you can definitely find something that's gonna work for any skin issue that you have. So if you need help finding the right primer for your skin issue, definitely let me know. Just waiting for pebbles to stop barking. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite primers. Definitely let me know if you have any recommendations on primers or if you need a recommendation, I'm always here to help. So definitely let me know in the comments section and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. No, Friday. Okay, bye guys. Mwah. Hit subscribe, hit like, all that jazz that's here. And I'll just spin in my chair while you do that. <laughs>